We got it. Got it. Perfect. So, Olga, how are you today? I'm good. A little bit tired because I work today, but I'm good, actually. How are you? Fantastic. I'm super well. I mean, I mean I'm more than well. I'm super happy the fact that we are talking again. I've been waiting for this to happen basically the whole week, so it's so cool. Congrats to your show, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a year now with um, 335, 36. That's a lot. But it's amazing. I mean, it is, it is amazing. And, and, and you know what? It's super inspiring because the fact that I have got the chance to speak with so many talented people, I mean, I do believe that when you're surrounded with the right people, everything is possible. And luckily for me, I have the I had the opportunity to get surrounded with so many amazing, talented people over over the year that I started this. And it's amazing. It's amazing, and it, it is like super inspiring because whenever you know I have like those days in which I say, Ugh, I just watch this, I just like watch videos, or basically yeah, watch some of the things that I did. And then it's like okay, so let's continue. Let's make it happen. So. We're still here, and we have a lot of epic things coming up for this next year, yeah. which I'm gonna tell you later. But uh, but hey, in the meantime, as I said, it is so amazing and badass and cool to have someone with you know someone as epic as you, basically. But uh, but tell me, what is new since our last chat, with, which was? We well, nothing. <laughs> There's there are no news. It's same thing, same thing. Like okay. like the last two weeks. Nothing happened. I love it. I love it. But, but that's fine. okay. That's totally okay. I'm okay with it. I love it. And you know, like so in our previous interview, yeah, in the previous episode, but we talk about how how awesome your tour is. I mean, we all know that. But I wonder, like during this whole 2022, like how this year has been for you and your acting career as well. A little bit tough, to be yeah. honest. Um, uh, because I just had one casting mm. for one movie and now I'm in the second round so and that's it nothing happened I, I, I did my own stuff uh, I learned a lot I read a lot of books that's it that's good are you, are you a little ready? bit but I try my best Boring time, boring time could be a nice time too. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But you know, like, I mean, the fact that you are working on it, I mean, we all have, you know, like this, uh, years like that, or, or sometimes months like that, in which, you know, we're just like just there. You know what I mean? Like, we try, like, we are learning, we are uh, having like the chance to uh, to get some new skills here and there. So the fact that you are preparing on your on this time that is really cool because as i said i mean it's more than obvious that eventually everybody's going to know yeah. about uh, what you do which is really 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 cool so on your like for, for example like what usually <clears throat> sets your mind to create a character you know what i mean like like what sets your whole creativity to be like okay like i'm gonna i'm gonna create a character so what is your like like what is like what are your steps to set your mind go in this process of creating character? At first, um, well, mm, good question. At first, I try to to imagine myself being a character. For example, the character is a person who steals a lot, and I try to to, to create. Or to imagine, could this be me, and how could this be me, and how do I look like this? And that's that would be the first step I imagine. Okay, okay. Now, let's say right that one day I call you and I say, hey, guess what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna play a character for this film. Right? Now, on your experience. What do you, what do you, like, what would you, like, what advice would you tell me? Or like, what are some of the things that I would need to consider before playing a character? What do you mean with this question? I don't understand. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> not a problem, not a problem. Not a problem. So check this out. So let's say that one day I call you, right? And then I say, hey, guess what? I'm going to play a character, 
right? But I don't know anything about it. So I need I need to play this character, you know, I, I need to learn it fast. So what advice could you give to me so I can play the character? Go outside, take a look at all the people. Okay. Let's go outside and observe the people. Is it the right word to observe? Yeah. That's, I think it's, 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 it's the right thing to do at first. Okay. Okay. So, so, so I will go to a, so I will go to a Starbucks, order a coffee and just sit and watch everyone. Or the park, whatever. Yes. So, okay. All right. I like it. And what would you say is one of the reasons, like, like, like what reason would you say causes an actor to get desperate or to get stuck in this process of creating someone. Do you mean the character is depressed or do you mean you are depressed? For, so, for example, for example, has it, has it ever happened to you that when you are going to play a character, at some point when you are creating it, you don't know what to do and you're like, ugh, like, well, like, what should I do? Like, what, like, you get, like, you get stuck. So, yes. what, so, what would you say it's one of the reasons why an actor or an actor if i say, knew that i would never stuck <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know it's when i'm stuck when i'm stuck in one at one point i'm like okay let's breathe and calm down maybe 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 it's this time it maybe it's the part the most important part when you when you finally can break or go into the character. Mm. It's, it's the last point, the, the toughest point. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. I like it. Now, besides of being an amazing, epic, talented, badass actress, you also have done some models. So my question here is, what do you like most about modeling? Being in the middle of, <laughs> of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To be honest, I like to be to be the middle point. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and and what and like what do you usually do after a photo shoot? Like what is the number one thing you're done? You're like, okay, I'm gonna do like what is the 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 thing that you always do? Change my clothes into something. Cozy. Okay. And after? Maybe drink a beer. Sometimes a beer. Sometimes I just lay down, smoke a cigarette. Something like this. Okay. okay. Or I go out with the photographers and uh, I'm eating with them mm. for lunch. Mm. Okay. That's, you know, that's, really, that's really interesting. I mean, because for some of the models that I have interviewed, whenever I ask, I ask this question, they always say, like literally, they always say, I will go eat, I will get a pizza, I will get, I will get like, you know, something, something that I deserve, you know, like something greasy, basically. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yes, 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 that's very important because you're so hungry. You are, you're focused the whole time in the, shoot, in the photo shoot and then you're getting really hungry and, and after that you can eat as much as you can and you can get tired and because it doesn't matter because you can go sleep after eating. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> and what has been some of your favorite uh, photo shoots? I love them all. Okay. I don't have any favorite one. I love them all. Okay. I love it. I love it now. Because every because every photo shoot is something special. Yeah. It's it's the kind of memory. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I mean, and those who haven't followed Olga, I mean, you should follow her right now and check all of her amazing photos. She has a model because she's, I mean, they look super close. I love them. Now, let's say that I'm about to do modeling <laughs> and then I call you and then I say, okay, I'm going to have my best photo shoot. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Give me an advice. What are the ones you give me? My advice to you is um, if you don't have start posing just start posing if you are afraid show them if you are nervous show them 
and that's the thing. Okay. Huh. Okay. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, just jump. Yes, just jump into the cold water. <laughs> now, what has been some of like, like for all of the places that you have done photo shoot here, and you know, what are what has like for, again, so for the places that you have done photo shoots, which ones did you like the most? I, was it like a park, or was it, I don't know, uh, in the city, or I don't know. I have seen a lot of places and I love them all. Wait, let me let me let me think about it. Well, things I was in things uh, two or three weeks ago. That's um, the Ostsee, and it was so beautiful, so beautiful in the north of uh, Germany. And uh, then here in Berlin, I had a photo shoot. It was so amazing with, uh, with an amazing photographer and a lot of fans. I don't have any favorite. I love them all. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh. The yeah. nice, the, the best thing of the whole photo shooting thing is um, I see a lot of places and I travel a little bit through Germany and um, I met new people. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yes, you know, back back when I was traveling around Germany, yes, they had so many cool, cool places. Yeah, and you know, like my favorite part for me was going and like be on the train and just and just look outside. You know, you will see like so many different things. And uh, and mm -hmm. I remember I remember one day that uh that I go that I was heading to what? I think it was Hanover. Anyway, um, and it was it was. Yeah, it was kind of a, it was kind of it, like the whole morning, you know, and it was looking so because, oh yeah, it was with snow, I remember now. Yeah, I, I was a little bit <laughs> that day, but anyway, um, yeah, so it was with snow, but I remember that it was kind of the morning, and I remember that the sun was like, like, you know, like, like, uh, was up, and it was shining through the snow, and the snow was, you know, like, shiny, it was looking so beautiful, I mean, I, I remember that, and I remember that I was, I was, uh, with a, with a friend of mine, we were both drunk, and we were just looking at the window, you know, like <laughs> just like looking at it, and uh, and then and and uh, and and, and then we're like, this is so cool. It is so cool. Um, and you know, that is one of the cool things I loved about it that it has like so many epic, uh, epic clearings and epic uh, green, you know, like green here, like green everywhere. Else. Mm -hmm. Germany is so beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it was it was really cool. It was really cool. I loved it. Um, now. What, like, what motivates you for modeling? I mean, what inspires you? For example, before a photo shoot, do you have a, like a like a go-to song? You know, like you will listen to your to your music and be like, okay, you know, I, I'm ready to go. Like, what is like what usually inspires you? Or like, what puts you ready for a photo shoot? I can choose the clothes. And uh, all the clothes you can see on my pictures are my clothes, and that inspires me. I listen to music, doesn't matter what kind of music, but my clothes are inspiring me. Huh. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Well, wait. So, so, for, so for all of the modeling photos you have are with your clothes? Exactly. Ach so. Ach so, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool, guys. <laughs> Super guy, yeah. I yeah. like it a lot. That's the best thing. That's amazing. Okay, okay. And like whenever, like okay, so so like whenever you're having, whenever you have like a bad day, either you know for acting or like a, or like modeling. What what motivates you? You know, what puts you back again to be like, okay, I'm ready to go one more time. Like, for example, with modeling, you know, like uh, that, the fact that you, that sometimes you have, you will have to be uh, still for hours and you need to change clothes here and there. I mean, it can be super exhausting, of course, but it is. It, is. it is super exhausting. And also the fact that sometimes you will have to force the muscles, you know, to make it look like they, that, that you are doing something, you know what I mean? That, uh, 
So whenever you're having like those exhausting days, what, yeah, like what motivates you? You know, you, what, what brings you back energy <laughs> to be back? Nothing. I just do it and bring it over me. Love it. <laughs> to be honest. I love it. You know, <laughs> you know that is that is like that is like one like one of the things that I like I yeah that I uh, that I love about you the fact that you are you know you just you you're just like you know what I'm just gonna do it let's see what happens and boop and you and you're good to go. And it sounds yes. really simple, of course, but I have met, I mean, I know people that it takes them hours or even like they would get like super nervous to speak either in front of people or to do something, you know, like in general, like basically that takes them out of their comfort zone. And, and for you, it's so, it's so easy. I love it. The fact that you are like, I'm just going to do it here. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to do this. Yeah, why not? I'm going to do it. And then, oh, this is it. This is, now, this is the, the new thing now. I like the fact that you are so flexible, that's really cool. And that is also pretty inspiring because at the same time it shows us that you just don't need to think about it. You know, you just jump and you have to. Yes, you're right. Boop. <laughs> that's going to be, that's going to be the word now. Boop. <laughs> what is doing it? Boop. <laughs> I love it. Now, before I ask you this question, when is your birthday? On 17 April. April the 17th. Okay. So let's say that for for next year, I will for your birthday, I will give you a time machine. But here's the thing. Here's the catch. You can only you can only have the opportunity to go back to go back in time 10 years ago. So my question here is what would you say to yourself when you meet Olga 10 years ago? Why? Mm, I would say to her... Well, I would say to her, believe in yourself, mm. don't stop what you're doing, and have fun. And that's enough. <laughs> oh, that's it. I love it. Simple. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, for me, on my case, I would, I would slap ten years, my my version of, of ten years. I would slap it. But why? And, and I would I just slap yourself because because I would say, <laughs> you know like the only thing that I would say to my version ten years ago would be, you know, just listen, learn to listen, just learn to listen. Trust me, it's it's for the better because there because like now. There was that there are so many things that they told me, but I just didn't want to do it, you know, because I was, you know, I was um, at that moment I had 17, no 18. Oh shit! Yeah, I was 18, and um, <laughs> that was a long time ago. And I was just, you know, young and stupid, and I was, you know, believing that I had like the world in the in the palm of my hand, and I can do whatever I want, and I did, but. And I didn't enjoy it. That's normal? Huh? That's totally normal? Yeah, but the thing is, is that there were, like, for example, they gave me advices that I should have, that, that I should have paying attention, for example, um, for example, to, uh, to manage better my money or to be aware of, of, of with who you are surrounding with, because during that time, yes, I did. Uh, I was having like a lot of friends here and there, but the thing is that I learned later that that when you really need them, you know, like when like when you are really in a in a in a, in a bad moment, that's when you see who is your friend and who is just taking advantage of whatever, you know, because uh, that happens. So I should have been like more wise, but you know, now that I think of it, if I if I haven't done the things that I did, I wouldn't have learned now. You know what I mean? So. Probably yes. I would just say good job, be party, get drunk, and I'll see you in ten years. And yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm not. I will not stop him. Yeah, you're right. I will hug him. No, no, no. Wait, I will give him a shot. There you go. I'll be like, here's a shot oh, of tequila. To and us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna shoot him. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just giving him a shot. Yes, I know. I know what you mean. I love it. I love it. Wow. Now, 
So the fact that you are super talented, epic, amazing, and badass, it's impressive. I love it. I mean, I'm so in love with your career and what you do. But tell me, like, what do you think? It's one of the reasons why someone just walk away from their from their dreams, from their passions, from their abilities. You know, like, like what would you say? One of the reasons why someone would say, you know what, I'm and just walk away. Maybe it's out of their comfort zone. Maybe they are afraid. I don't know. I don't think about that much. I just think about. I I cannot think for other people why they are doing this. I just can do it for my family, yes, and for me. But I cannot think about other people. What? Why are they don't follow their dreams? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I, 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 yeah, you know what? At, at the end of the day, I would say to, to just, to just do it. You know, what I mean, at, at the end, we only we only live once, and 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 why and why would you waste your time or even your life on something that you don't want to? You know what I mean? Of course, that sometimes you need to take things like that in order to pay bills, you know, in order to you know, uh, save up some money or things like that. So that's totally understandable. But but the point here, uh, the point here is to. To just jump, you know, just say, Poop. <laughs> just do it, you know. <laughs> well, we only live once, and I and I do think that that whenever someone would say, "What if, what if, uh, what if, why do I like it?" You know, like one of the things that I'm that I'm currently working on is to remove the "what if" in my mind. You know, just do it. You know, not having like things like, "What if I, like, what if I, you know, what if people don't like what I do?" You know? Or what if, you know, like things like that. I just remove or, why, or, or maybe people don't like me. Yeah. Which I would say that they're probably. Anyway, um, totally. But yeah, at the end, <laughs> at the end, I would just say, well, I would just say to just jump. You know, I, re I remember when I started my podcast. At first, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And, I just didn't know, and I was getting, I was like super nervous. I was, I uh, remember that even sweating a lot, and I was just like shaking, you know. And uh, it was, it was horrific. But if I have tried it right now, I wouldn't have got the chance, as I said before, to speak with so many incredible talented people. So I do believe that sometimes you need to, I mean, basically all the time, you need to get away, you need to get out of your comfort zone, and, and, yes. and learn, and learn new things, and just as, as you would say, just poof, and that's it. And accept um, um, accept failings. Yeah. You have to be totally okay with that 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 you fail that you fail sometimes. That's okay. That's totally okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, learn from them and keep moving forward. Don't stop. I mean at the end at, at the end what can I say? I mean you are super talented your like your attitude like your yeah like your like your way of doing things is super cool it is super inspiring and i do and i do believe we should all we should all just jump you know as you mentioned just try and think whatever whatever what others might say of course that some people would say that is some people are not gonna like it but that's fine i mean at the end of your life you know you shouldn't you shouldn't give power to people that that doesn't belong to you, you know i mean at the end You should live your life as you wanted. If you want to be an actor, musician, producer, or even yes, a teacher, just, or like yeah. whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I love it. I love it. Well, I mean, once again, I mean, you you are killing it here. You are super talented. I'm doing amazing. I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I'm basically wishing every 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 day for you, every day for your career to just whoop, and everybody whoop. know. So one day everybody will know you. That's what happens. And also. One of those who are watching, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this later here on YouTube or or listening on Spotify or podcast, make sure to go follow all right now. I mean, let's make it viral. This time it's going to be hashtag Team Olga 2. We got Team Olga 1 for the first one, not Team Olga 2. So, uh, again, thank you so much, Olga. Before I set you up, you know what is coming again. You know that, like, the the signature here. So, uh, give me the signature move. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me. Okay, always keep keeping it, keeping awesome, keeping amazing. Have an epic, uh, an epic weekend, an epic 
an epic upcoming week and nothing but epic things because you deserve all the happiness and goodbye because you are the best so i'll see you thank you so much thank you for inviting me bye bye <laughs>